with the six, you just neutralize the laning phase. You make sure that he cannot take over the laning phase. Make sure that Advian cannot get out and roam, which we know he loves to do with Markun too. Making a move towards the top lane, and there's no TPs on XL to do anything here. Finn's going to try and survive, but I'm not sure how long he'll remain alive. First blood to SK. He's got six, so this could actually be a really good situation. The rest of them just coming over with a blast cone, and they don't have vision on them. This could be a good fight for XL. Genex doesn't really have too much mana here. Finn goes in with the unstoppable force, only lands up to one, but already Gilius is down. Marcoon kicks him to death. Genex next on the menu, next on the chopping block, and he is severed from life for the moment. Two quick kills over to XL. Janna should get the auto in. Gideas will get the smite. Eye of the Herald is there. Advian's gonna try and sit on it for the moment and XL may be able to hold them at arm's length. They can't keep Certus away though, as he pushes forward. Plate goes down in the bottom lane, Unstoppable Force coming in as well as they look for the dive on Genax. Genax still alive, but he dies before he can make it to the wall. Solar Flare finds the stun and that's the second kill for them. With the wave play as well, they're not oh, really Patrick, able to do it. The chains are going to connect. Patrick's so low. Sertz is trying to get one more Sigil of Malice down, but just not angry enough, it seems. And here comes the unstoppable force that is Markoon, his sixth kill of the game. Make it a double. Gilius down. But this is one of the good decisions that we like from SK. All oh, needs to be a bit careful here, Genax. Solar flare on Genax flashes away from the Zenith Blade. Now, what can you do? Because Nuke Duck's on the flank. The Claw of Doom has found its mark, but Nuketuck locked up. Unstoppable Force is all on Genax. Just dive, bomb at the Jace. Kill him off, and Patrick can open up the big guns on the back line. Double kill for him. Treat Surtis and Jezu can do nothing about it. Triple for Patrick. Dragon down to 3,000, though. Are you going to be able to get in here, Gilius? He's locked up for the moment. He's stolen! It's stolen away by Gilius. At the end, tried to jump on the back line, but he dies immediately. No soul for XL, and perhaps... They will be forced out of this fight as well. Marcoon hooked up, still has the GA. Surtis diving forward as well. We'll lock Marcoon up with the chains. Nuke Duck, no tomb for him. Marcoon kills off treats, goes legendary. SK, they smell something is in the waters. Will you commit XL or were you just trying to get the TP out? Mega Infernal Bomb goes down. XL pull off it, 3,000 on it. Marcoon still looking for it, but Nuke Duck's already down. Marcoon's going to try to kill the Baron, and he will get it. But XL will not win this fight. Patrick having to back away. Marcoon jumping out of the back of the pit as well. Finn down. Three quick kills to SK. Only Marcoon and Patrick alive and Treats doesn't want them to survive. Flashed over the wall, still on the chase. Gilius up towards the ramp. Surtz is in the mid lane as well. So them getting this oh, poke Advian. down, you can see how difficult it is. Advian has to flash, Death Charge already used. Mega Inferno Bomb's gonna come down as well, and the Comet into the hook, and Advian is dead. He could do nothing at all. Completely unplayable from the side of XL. And SK once again doing a phenomenal job with that contest on towards it, Gilius. Finn has ult. Probably gonna wait for the Crescent Sweep to go oh, down. No. Moonlight Vigil, Gilius, Jezu both low. Gilius surviving, but Markun will take him out. Jezu killed off as well. A wall in front of you. The hook from Treats only hits a minion. Nuketuck just trying to kill Genax on the back line. Genax kicked into the fountain and he will survive. The minion wave still stands and so do the Nexus Three Towers. Three seconds Excel on Gilius. We'll be able to kill off Certus. Genex now needs to come out, needs to clear the wave, needs to help out his team. Treats down, Finn there. The Nexus Towers fall and XL have just slammed their faces into the wall that is SK. The Nexus still stands, but Patrick has finally come alive. A triple kill for him. And the Nexus will fall. And instead of the Lulu, it's going to be the Zillion for Kaiser. Something we saw Hillisan bring out actually into Kobe on the Zaya yesterday. Gets the flash out of the Jinx, but now El Yoyo on the way. Level six has been attained. TP goes up towards the top lane. Uh, from the mid lane there from Deo, sorry, as promised you, still trading onto El Yoya, who does have the Dragon's Rage, and the kick comes out, and Unforgiving gets first blood. Zanzaro is catching the wave. Next wave still at the tier, uh, tier 1 tower for Astralis. Copy stepping around to the side, not too much damage coming out of Unforgiven as of yet. TPs, none available. Rika's about to come off cooldown, but Unforgiven is forgotten in the bottom lane, and Kaiser will be the first full. Promise the stopwatch. Two the stopwatch. Unforgiven goes down. Mad Lions have a long way to go home. Armor, as you say, has the TP. Promise Q kept out with the gravity well. Call of the Forge God coming down as White Knight looks for the back line, and Rika assassinated, but the Chrono Ship will bring him back to life. Kobe trying to survive on towards the top side, and there's an absolute cluster of damage in the bottom. One for one trade so far. Kobe able to escape from Armor, who now Jumps back into the fight. Elioya keeping himself alive. The Brittle, not enough damage. White Knight locked up. Stunned he up. He doesn't die. And Elioya does not 
die. Armut keeps Corby and Promise Q at arm's length. He'll chase them down with the chains. They're infernal, just like the rift on which they stand. Slammed to the ground is Corby as Armut takes a dog. This is the thing. They don't have the best turn there potential right now, but the TP, you called it, Medic. It's coming through, and Sensara, he's diving in. Where's the follow-up? Promise Q had flash quickness. Doesn't connect, though. They're still looking for Unforgiven, who gets the chrono shift. He'll come back. Unforgiven, not forgotten. He's going to res from the grave, but Corby's already killed off Kaiser. Promise Q's going to get the knockup, and Corby gets a second of the fight. Armut joins it so late it's go basically going to be a 1v5 for him can he get out of this one alive he dives onto Kobe. he's rooted he's knocked up he's locked up in place armor now on the retreat will it astralis allow him to escape feathers fly shut down for Kobe. he'll fall for no it way. but astralis get the wipe in the team fight what are we gonna see? Feather Storm, Call of the Forge God, Cataclysm, the lockup is there, the quickness coming out as well. Kaiser are down and Deor flies in from downtown. The Shadow Surge found one mark. Now, Rika a little bit caught out, but Elior is here as well. Zanzara no stunned flash. up, Shadow Surge. Oh, it was just short of Rika. Now the TP's coming in, and perhaps Astralis have over-invested into this fight. Mistral Bolt does get the resurrection out, but Armut has a good flank position. Infernal Chains on Zanzara doesn't quite connect, but Dale will be the first one to be shut down. Zanzara trying to flag and drag his way to safety, but there is no safety in the Mad Lion's jungle. Mad pick up two, they're looking for three as White Knight. He calls to some sort of god, but whatever prayers you're praying, he ain't listening. It's a double for Unforgiven. Kobe has to pop the feathers. They do have those ornaments. They do have Kobe at four items. They do have Deor at three and a half items. And they do have a fight starting. Kaiser, Kaiser no the flash. target. Shadow Surge going out. Kaiser will bring himself back to life with the Chrono Shift, and that means the reset isn't there. Deor locked up, pops the stopwatch. White not going in. Promise Q and Kobe are still alive here. The charm onto Elio means that he can't die. Onto the back line, he's still gonna manage to get a kick. Dragon's Rage, Rika ripped through by Kobe. It's all on the AD carry, but he just can't do it. Zanzara falls last. Mad Lions stand fast in the mid lane. Jace into Graves, top Graves will be slightly favored because of the grit, but Rise last pick here for Larson, who should have mid push into the Akali and needs to make sure he moves towards them around the map. Okay, so TP use, and of course, if you look at Nuclear Int's build, he is going to go for the tank Akali build. Odoamne staying in the bush here. Getting the full combo onto Adam is big. Adam might normally win an nice extended trade, but Odoamne going to swap back. First blood solo. Bolo on the top side is clean from Odo. Comp stepping forward, big damage. No Limit again taking a ton. That's gonna be the knockback there. Limit now locked up, trying to turn it back. Comp flashing away, lands in the trap. That's not where you wanna be. Panics a little oh, bit, and it's gonna cost him his life. But Larson now coming in. Synchrop coming down to the bottom side as well. X Manny trying to flash out, but he flashes right into the bubble. It's clean from Trimby, but it's clean response from Syncroft. He's debating. His body's telling him no, but the mind's yes, rather. The mind's gonna win out in the end. Yeah, BDS end up fighting this and getting a two for two out of it. Going in Kicking against Syncroft. Dashing forward, going for the kick to knock Ooh. it back. Malrang now stepping in. That is one strong trundle. The pillar going to stop Syncroft's escape. BDS trying to force the 5v5. If they can isolate a single member, member, maybe they get something done, but limits so low before the fight even kicks oh, off. Trimby throwing the ultimate in, splitting the Larson. entire team. Syncroft now isolated in the pit. He's ready to leap over the wall. Oh, Odoame getting away. He's been exhausted. Maybe they can get something done. That's going to be Nuclear Int taking one, but what Ooh. is it going to cost him? Nuclear Int playing clean in the Shroud, but as the Shroud fades, Nuclear Int will fall. Syncroft out and over the wall. Adam trying to get something done. It's a scat mess of a fight, but it is Rogue who are coming out on top. Not only do they get the dragon, not only do they get limit, Adam set to fall, Syncroft set to fall, and it's an absolute slaughter in the river. Syncroft, the only surviving member of BDS oh, the in the pillar. end. And lost, of course, Adam. Nope, that's the flash. That's all it's going to take. Rogue domination. Adam's TP didn't. This will be it. Oh, do I'm looking for some poke. We'll only hit Synchro for now. Limit's going forward in. on the limit in the midst of the entire team. That's the wave, though. It's going to hit all five members. Trimby fighting the disengage. Duclair trying to get some work done. He's invisible in the trap, but what else can he do? Rogue might just be too strong. The kick goes in, but the Q does not land. Synchro isolated and off to the side. Trimby still standing. Nuclear can't even finish that one. BDS looking for the Hail Mary engage. Oh! Doesn't work. That's the thing. That's the shock blast that Limit was scared of. He knows he has to go in again. Syncroft's behind them, but do they even have any gas left in the tank? Syncroft kicking him back. Nuclear into the midst of the team now going into to the shroud, but it's gonna get burned down before he can even get any damage done. Malrang's ulti doing some work there. Hold the Nexus line, farm till late game as they say in solo queue, guys, so we can win. Syncroft going in, it's a split call. There's nothing for him to do. Syncroft's gonna go down and that should be it. And it's sad for BDS because there's really no right calls. Uh, and the best they can do is go all together <laughs> into the fire. 
but it does not look like it's going to work out. Oduwamne isolated off to the side, 2v1ing Adam and X Maddy. Nuclear going in, he's trying to finish off Comp. Comp is ticking, Comp is burning. Trimby is still up and alive. Rise ultimate coming through. Adam will finally get he's one, back. but the zombie Odo is there to finish the game. Rogue taking the win. I do like the scaling aspect of Braum, though. That unbreakable shield is so incredibly valuable against the Gragas cask, against the Jinx in the late game, yeah. but now the Yumi. And that's just going to be that. Fnatic gets sums out of Neon. That's going to help the Dragon fight in one minute's time. Razork, Razork the face check waiting over here. the wall against his former team. Big damage now coming in. An easy first blood for the side of Misfits. Razork. And I think Razork knew something was up there as Humanoid Let looks for die. VTO. Put you coming in the mid lane. Humanoid getting aggressive. Two fights. Now burning down, trying to finish up. But VTO going in. VTO Zorro trying kill. to trade back, but the blue card will come out. 4v4. Schlatan with Mercer mounted up. Ready Neon to go no in. Neon isolated. No summoner spells. Gold card goes in. Caitlyn damage for follow up. Ever Frost. And that's one dead champion. And now they've leapt right into the fight. Schlatan, what are you doing? Right into death's waiting arms. VTO now potentially set up to fall down as well, too. This is the power it's of four Braum, kills, isn't baby. It? Concussive blows. Down go Misfits. Down go the cat. Flag and drag forward. Razork now isolated and locked up. Ultimate available. He can stop anyone else from doing damage, but they've got enough members on top of it. Braum now coming in to disrupt the fight. Razork still alive, leaping out to safety. Neon isolated in the pit. Gale Force back out to safety, but Humanoid is three levels above him. Fanatic he again move. finding a fight. Razork still alive. Vito trying to heal up. He's got the stolen ultimate. He leaves oh, the wall. He finishes off Hillisang. Versus there to try to body block, but upset. Now fishing for kills. The cat getting chased down. Two members of Fnatic on the top side chasing down Neon and here at Bamursa. Well. More than one way to skin a cat, and that is certainly one of them. Yeah, Fnatic own the map right now. Here comes Humanoid again. Locked up. There's the cleanse. Might not be enough. He's got more than enough CC okay. there. Goes Golden for style points. It was close. Razork now backing away, but Fnatic can just descend upon this fight. Ulti coming out. Flag and Drag is going to connect. Traps. Razork, the lockup now coming in. Oh, another oh, one. the clown car. Oh, the int train has begun. Misfits, there was not a fight to be had there. I think Misfits just looking for another pick here. There's no Sang in no man's land. Upset in the area, but maybe they can get something done here. VTO coming in as well. They need to try to isolate and lock down a target before the fight gets any worse. Is the TP coming in off to the side? Wonder now descending. VTO waiting for the Knight to take away before he uses the W. Now leaping with the stolen Akali ultimate. Wonder oh, hand delivering that ultimate, and that means he's going to get at least one back down. Versa trying to body block what he can. Healing coming in. Not enough. VTO clean on the mechanics. It's a Red Bull Baron power play. That's, that's no, a good graphic. That's an important one. Shout out to Red Bull. But also this one. Yeah, Hillisang. First in KDA, 10.2, is that wow, Hillisang? Bad timing, it's time to focus on the fight. Now kicking off, gold card goes in, buying a bit of space with the stolen Zin's out ultimate. Hillisang isolated and off to the side. Razork now going in, looking for the follow-up. Traps set up for Humanoid and upset oh, to retreat no. into, but Misfits continuing to fight down. Hillisang's hoping out. desperately for a reset, but Wonder is just now entering the fight. Shots on buying as much space again as he can. Razork ultimate is falling away, maybe they can get a kill back, but Wonder is doing so much damage in the back line. Here comes Humanoid with the ultimate, and Fnatic are gonna take the fight. Never forget it, Hillisang, 10.2, Fnatic gonna find another win. Incredible stats for Hillisang. Incredible stats for all of Fnatic. Misfits are responding. Misfits are responding, but it does not matter. Fnatic can hit that Nexus. Gonna be difficult. GP Instead. would work as well into the Caitlyn Zyra. Does provide a lot of poke back and does give a lot of range to help your Aphelios. I think they Flag might just be dead. dead here. Dead to rights. Level 2 coming in just in time. Maybe they can get something done. Leaping right into the Zins out. The flash out target is also coming out. Can he hit the ball? The hook oh, coming yeah. in from LeBrov. He hits him last game. He hits him this game. LeBrov stepping off to the side. Karzi not afraid to step forward. That could be the snare That's now cleanse. coming in. Is gonna activate the cleanse. Comes out, but Ignite. what is it gonna do? Flacken getting burned down. Ooh. Karzi and LeBrov. Yankos hovering behind Broken Blade, who's yet to TP back. Maybe but he's expecting a to go aggressive. Selfmate's behind as well. Can leap in. Oh. Flash in. Oh, no. Yanko's going to try to follow up, but here comes Selfmate, and things are about to go from bad to worse. The W Flash coming out. Trying to get a man advantage somewhere. Trying to brute force a play on the map. No Flash. From the blade now He's stepping dead. forward. Alfari, as you highlighted, no Flash to his name. Trying to get tricky with it. Trying to sidestep. They're waiting for the CC to go through before they land the Q. That's the ulti coming in from the Caitlyn. The finish should now come out. Alfari buying as much time as he can. He's putting up a and fight. That's going to be a big kill for G2. Black it being forced out every time he moves towards mid. G2 needs to pull the trigger soon. Karzi waiting. The flash Ooh. sideways. The pull back into the hook. It's clean. Karzi still standing strong. Good follow up damage. Self made now in the midst of the fight. Caps coming in from the side. Gangplank can of Raj going down as well. Knockup's going to be there. Surely self made dies here. Ganko's still in the pit. He's going to have to walk away. Vitality are just bullying their way into this pit. Battle lines drawn and ultimates thrown out. No one's died just yet, but Yanko still has the kick. That's the key spell to look at perks. Shockwave as well. Shockwave There's a shockwave. On the two! They did not keep track of the ball. That's going to cost them the dragon and a kill. 
and he just backed off. So G2 are just committing numbers on lanes, but they're not finding much. Yankos. Yankos trying to fish for it, but Perks giving him that respect. Immediately flashing out. Now it's Broken Blade off to the side, but Vitality looking to collapse. But who is the one getting collapsed on the end? LeBron now running. Alfari leaping oh, forward, Fari. waiting on that next parlay, waiting on that next pistol. Caps can't afford to overextend. Oh, Fari. Alfari going in, flacking, going back. Not gonna go. <laughs> Even in the end, one for one. We poke damage Alfari on the side. He Lantern. can heal up off the wave here just for a moment, going back to full. We'll be able to swap guns G2 shortly. Get position. G2 get Kaitlyn traps. Really good position for G2 right now, but the package will wear off. Vitality need to find a way past these traps, past the Corky package. He's falling away. Instantly self making oh! a leap. He's going to get it. That's the Inferno. Karzi now leaping forward. Big damage coming in for the blue guns. The ultimate going down as well. Self made buying as much space as he can. Yanko's gold's golden, but it will not matter. Caps retreating. Karzi stepping up, stepping forward, and knocking down G2 Esports. Confidence from self made. Domination from Vitality in that exchange. Yeah, G2 had the control, but Vitality had the damage. And can Yankos really realistically look for a kick? Yes, he going can. He's in. going he for is. it. Will it work out? Karzi goes gold. He locks himself down. What's it going to cost him? Fresh in the middle of the entire team. He's now trying to fire back. He's got perfect guns for close range fighting. Broken Blade just going to try to knock him away. G2 maybe they can get something done, but Perks is just so damn strong. Broken Blade has to walk away. But actually, the overconfidence there, the overaggression might cost him because now G2 are back up. G2 may have bought themselves a second life in this game. Yeah, I think Vitality could have ended there, but Perks wanted to dive caps on the fountain. 3v3 in Vitality's favor, though. Karzi, Selfie now leaping into the midst of the entire team. Gordrinker to bring him right back up. Ganko's now going down. They are going to grab another kill. Karzi trying Trying to finish the job. Karzi wants to end it or does he want to go for the kills? Big damage. The root now coming in. Trying to finish it. Two more on the board for Vitality as they will take down G2 for a perfect week two.